Hello and welcome to Webdom Mentors YouTube channel and you're watching the third video of the programming in Java for beginner series. So this video is about the requirements for Java. Well, there are a few things that you need to have or do before starting the programming. Well, the first thing is your interest and involvement. You need to involve yourself in order to learn the Java program. It's very easy to learn. It just takes 8 to 10 hours to learn, but it needs your involvement and concentration in order to do that. The next thing is your text editor of your choice. And is used for writing the program so it can be of anything it can be a notepad to a uh, very advanced uh, extra featured uh, text editor the next thing is the Java JDK that is the SDK of the Java uh, it's the Java development kit you need to download it and install it in your system in order to do the Java programs and compile it and execute it and get an output so i would be doing a different video in order to download it and install it and also set up the JDK for use and Apart from this, there's an optional thing, the IDE for Java. You can download and install an IDE for doing the program in a very fast manner. It is useful to use an IDE. And of course, I'm going to do a lot of videos with the IDE because of the reason this series is put forward for Android application development. So Android application development needs you to have an IDE like Eclipse or Android Studio. So we'll be doing some videos to get you through how to use an IDE. So you need an IDE, but it's optional. You can use a simple notepad and SDK as well for Java. So the next thing is the text editors in brief. Uh, it's completely a few choice to choose a text editor. It can be a notepad to some kind of a advanced extra featured text editors. And there's some uh, text editor with extra features like uh, auto completion and, and suggestions and also color variations between the keywords and also normal functions. And there are something like Notepad++. Plus. It's available for free to download. And also Sublime Text. It's also a free text editor that is available for download. There are two versions, two and three. Three is in beta right now. And maybe uh, the time you're looking at it, it can, might have been in the stable version as well. So the next thing is the software development kit. The software development kit for the Java is the JDK. It's a Java development kit. And we need to have the SE version, that is the standard edition of Java. So we need to download JDUSC JDK and there are two other versions the ME versions and the EE versions. ME stands for micro edition that is used for embedded systems and also E version the enterprise edition version that is used for writing enterprise level codes. The current version of the JDK is 1.8 uh, at the time I'm making this video it's 1.8.05 maybe it might be different at the time you're looking at it and you can download either of the 1.8 or 1.7 but don't go beyond that it's 1.6 is a little bit old but you can still use it if you want to use it and if you prefer to use it but I'd recommend you to go with 1.8 or 1.7 latest 1.7 is something like 1.7.42 uh, within a security release as well so you can uh, download that and install it so the next thing is the IDE, which is optional, of course. And there's a bunch of IDEs available for Java and the Internet that is also free. There's also paid versions that is available. You can choose the free version because it's going to have everything that a paid version has. And try to keep it minimal because uh, if you are learning Java and if you're letting the IDE to do a lot of work, then you're not going to learn Java. It's very important that you learn Java. And that's the reason why the top five videos of the first five videos that we're going to make in Java is going to be completely in the command line based and notepad based so you're going to learn Java in the first five or six videos and after that we'll be going into the IDE and some of the most used and preferred IDEs by developers if you uh, do the programs in Java are the Eclipse it's a very very important IDE that you can find on the internet it has a huge fan base and then the NetBeans, NetBeans itself is uh, developed by Oracle it's been maintained by Oracle as well so these two versions are the mostly used IDEs in Java. So that's the end of this video and this covers the requirements for Java and we'll be doing uh, separate videos for each and every one of those requirements. So the next video is going to be the installing and setting up JDK and uh, please wait for it. And if you find this video useful, please like the video and also share the video to your friends. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any kinds of comments or suggestions or issues, please feel free to share it on the comment section of this video or in the Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter feeds of the WebDementors. And you can also contact us through the mail. It's uh, webdementors at gmail.com. And thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.